This song memorizes for me pain and growth. I had a woman, she tried to sue me for rape. My father died. A guy totally financially destroyed me. I had experience with gay people and these gay people try to force me to do stuff or otherwise they will tell. Jeremy Fragrance was born as Daniel Shredzinski, the son of Kazimierz and Yolanda Shredzinski. He grew up in a little German town and was a tough kid who, according to himself, would punch people in the face when he was just in kindergarten. This behavior, along with the incident in which his brother got beaten in a bar while delivering pizza, forced his parents to send them both to martial arts school, where they learned how to be disciplined and defend themselves. Jeremy practiced martial arts until the age of 16, when he was introduced to dancing. Dancing helped him to get into the state theater, where he could earn money at a relatively young age, combining dance with acting. At that time, he was already successful on YouTube, posting dancing videos, so he was scouted into a boy band, producing European pop music. Wait, wait, you were in a boy band? I've been in two boy bands. Two boy bands? <laughs> Google Ibiza forever. You see me with long blonde hair. Okay, I will. Ibiza The band even got signed by Universal, yet didn't find much success on a large scale. However, along with the musical career, he has been introduced to the gay community, which is a common thing when you are a young boy who tries to sneak into the show business. Despite the fact that Jeremy wasn't gay, he had a lot of experience with guys. This whole boy band thing was a big mess in terms of I got into the gay community, but I was not gay and I still don't consider myself gay, but I had a lot of experience and it was a bit of a tragedy and I did things that I did not like. These types of sexual assaults led to the trauma that still haunts him today. At that time, Jeremy also had relationships with the girls, and that was the moment when the women with whom Jeremy had sexual relations fell in love with him. The only problem was, he didn't feel the same. He was young, attractive and in search of success, so didn't pay much attention to her feelings. After she noticed that Jeremy stopped paying attention to her, she accused him of rape. He knew that he was being falsely accused of something but he never did, and at first tried to avoid the situation by distancing himself from it. He ignored it as long as he could, but one day he received a letter from the police, and that's when he understood that the problem was getting severely out of hand. Rape is a serious accusation and the risk of going to jail was high. He knew he had to do something. So Jeremy called a lawyer and told them everything about the accusations. Soon after that, the case was closed. However, this incident marked him and he decided to change his life forever. That was a crucial moment for Jeremy's life. He was broken, drained both mentally and financially, but he still had his little passion, the little world where he could dissolve himself into a variety of wonderful fragrances. On June 2, 2014, he posted the first video on his new channel, in which he reviewed two of the most popular fragrances at that moment. Soon after, Jeremy noticed that people following his advice were buying fragrances through his affiliate links, and he realized that there was a good amount of money to make from this. I started out as a friend-to-friend -friend recommendation. Hey, this fragrance is good, this fragrance is sexy. And after two years of making it for hobby, and suddenly in December, at some point, I received a lot of money for affiliate deal for Amazon, where you do the top 10 list and they're all affiliate links. So, so you make money via affiliate links, pushing people to Amazon to actually buy the scents. Of course. Even if his videos were not heavily scripted or edited, the channel started to grow slowly but surely. The reason for this growth was Jeremy's genuine emotions combined with his appealing style and random actions that resulted in funny and entertaining videos that began to attract a following. This smells super, super sexy. Where are this? <laughs> it was just a matter of time before the channel gained significant popularity. The first video that exploded and gained millions of views was the top 10 most complimented best men's fragrances of all time. The title speaks for itself. 
Who on earth doesn't want to know what are the most complimented men's fragrances of all time? The viral video, along with the lack of influencers in the fragrance niche, made Jeremy big enough for fragrance brands to start paying attention and reach out to him. Everyone knew that Jeremy is the number one influencer in the fragrance niche, and this credit gave him the chance to create his own fragrance. And then you can do a deal with Sephora that they pay you monthly, and you can do your own hairspray and whatever you want. And <laughs> this is my own brand, Fragrance One. We made a record. What well, record? A Guinness World Record. It's not official because. I would have to pay for it, but there's no other fragrance online crowdfunding campaign more successful than this. This has gained, I, I think, $860,000 pre-sales. Fragrance One was created in 2019 by Jeremy in partnership with the famous Spanish perfumer Albero Morillas. The mission was to create the perfect scents for specific situations. That's how the first fragrance was released, by the name of Office. It was described as fresh and clean fragrance, which anyone can wear to the office. Soon after, Fragrance One released Date for Men, Black Tie for Men, Night for Women, Day for Women, and Unisex for Everybody. Jeremy's fragrances were a huge success, they were receiving good reviews and were enjoyed by many, and Fragrance One was constantly selling out of bottles. However, despite the fact that Jeremy had nothing but good intentions, which was to build a fragrance brand, there was one significant problem. The price of these fragrances ranged between 179, 249 and even 349 euros, which might be okay for a niche brand, but quite high for these type of fragrances. Even if Jeremy had declared that the higher price adds more value to the product, in the end, it's the customer who votes with their money. And it is so disappointing because it is 159 euros. That is a lot, a lot. Of cash. On May 31st, 2022, Jeremy announced that he would be closing down his brand this year. Hello, guys, Jeremy Fragrance here. Closing the brand, guys. Finish. What do you think about Fragrance One? Have you tried it? Is it worth the price? Let me know in the comments. When you think of someone successful, healthy, rich, what image comes to your mind? For me, no, it's not Andrew Tate, surprisingly, it's Jeremy Fragrance. He is literally the definition of success. The way he talks, the way he dresses, the way he thinks, all of this makes him look like a real alpha male. Every video of his feels like a motivational injection. Running into cold water early in the morning, easy. Following a strict diet and having the body of a pro athlete at 33 years old, no problem. Besides this, staying productive and posting up to 5 videos per day sounds quite impressive, right? But there are two sides to every coin. Basically, most of Jeremy's fragrance reviews are not just fragrance reviews. There is always some random stuff going on that is absolutely out of context. I want to tongue kiss a sexy woman right now. Oh, man! Fuck! Alcohol with drugs. Fuck women non-stop and using them for my benefits. I could do that, but that would be not compliant with my soul and my ethics. Today I did not jerk off before my video, which I normally do. So I just dropped the cap, yeah? I won't drop it again. Let me do... 30 push-ups on one hand because I dropped the cap right now. Most of his videos are emotional roller coasters. There is even a TikTok page named Jeremy Fragrance out of context with the compilations of the most random moments from his videos. That's what people have to say about him. He's like Homelander from The Boys. He's literally Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. He's so crazy and weird and cringy, but I actually admire his apologetic way of being. He seems to be a very sincere and honest person. Jeremy Fragrance is a whole vibe, and in that mix of funny nonsense, the Jeremy's childhood trauma becomes visible. My, my father beat me, actually, and my brother too. My brother is four years older, so my father beat my brother more than me. It's so easy to trick yourself, it's so easy to sleep with 50 girls per day. It's so easy to take cocaine, to drink drugs, but you yourself in the end know who you are. And I know you guys love me because of this 
stuff that I'm doing right now. And you can see a simple guy who carries the aftermath of success, who tries to deal with his own demons and to become a better version of himself, even though his audience is frequently concerned about his mental health. Personally, I really enjoy watching his videos, and not because I like fragrances, which I definitely do, but because his videos are more like a dose of caffeine, a kick in the ass, as Jeremy puts it. And Jeremy, he seems like a stereotypical, sophisticated villain in a movie, which attracts your attention with his controversial acts and phrases, but in the end you come to like him, and even sometimes resonate with him, because he is genuine and honest, and he's not afraid to be like this. What do you think about Jeremy Fragrance? Leave your thoughts in the comments and thank you for staying until the end. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me on my way to the top, hit like and subscribe. See you next time. And you know what I just did five minutes ago? I stimulated my penis.